Oh no, ESPN is down bad. ESPN is now coming out with articles how to fix boxing conveniently when PBC is killing the boxing game. Oh, what a shame. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I am back with some more boxing. Now, check out my last video. It was about the PBC haters. I focused on different things because it was a different video, and now I want to focus on this ESPN article. So you see it on the screen. It says, it's a picture of Jamal Charlo, Triple G, Tyson Fury, and Usyk. Now, right off rip, you would want to question, why do they have these select fighters as the marquee graphic? Like, Triple G look washed versus Canelo Alvarez. He's 41, and at this point, we don't even know if he's going to fight anymore. Like, there's different speculation. Is he retired or what's his deal? Tyson Fury, he's been out the ring. And he and Usyk, they had tried to, I guess, negotiate. It didn't happen. So it's like, why is this even the graphic? You know, you got three Eastern European European fighters and Kazakhstan fighter, Ukrainian fighter, and then one black American fighter on espn which is an american company and i think you guys have to pay attention to these things but i digress how to fix boxing why is it so difficult to make the quote big fights let's start there a look at the fractured nature of the sport that prevents the biggest fights from happening how can it be fixed now you would think possibly this article was from a former previous year like, I don't know, 2019 or just some other year. Nope. ESPN published this today, June 29th. We are about to enter July 1st and July has some of the greatest fights that we've seen in a minute. You got Virgil Ortiz stepping up in a major way against Amantis Stanionis. You got in a way, Nao and in a way, old media loves him. He's a good fighter, technical fighter from Japan, fighting cool boy Fulton. You have, of course, hey, stop that cat, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford, super fight, undisputed fight, all the marbles, glamour division. So, as I just told you, and that's just some of the fights. Jared Anderson is fighting Charles Martin. That's a good step in the right direction for his particular career. You got Franchon Cruz Desern, who's fighting Savannah Marshall. So the timing seems extremely weird and peculiar that ahead of these massive major fights and such a great calendar year of fights in general in boxing, they're talking about how to fix boxing, <laughs> how to fix it and how it's difficult to make fights, right? says this is the first installment in our how to fix boxing series series uh mike coppinger ben baby and michael rothstein will address the biggest challenges in the sport the annoyance was audible and trainer Derek james voice even in the afterglow one of his biggest victories I, i'm not even gonna read this because it's just a waste of my time um the the point is this risk versus the reward why are you coming out with this when we have all these great fights promoters don't often work together and then they're trying to make it into a series details matter and i think the timing of it is funny espn when it comes to their boxing programming they look stupid they look foolish all their pound for pound lists are garbage they're, you're leaving off pertinent people like jermail charlo they won't put him on he's undisputed ring magazine belt which old media likes so much all these types of things and they're making this smear campaign as if boxing is not in one of the best years that we've seen in the last decade i mean gervonta davis he just fought ryan garcia so you got to hear me out i know what i say because i'm there when i say it they're talking about promoters don't often work together i just told you gervonta davis and ryan garcia just fought and that was a golden boy who had a falling out with Al Heyman and PBC and Richard Schaefer left and all that type of stuff. And they still work together and put on a super fight. Why are you coming out with this article? Propaganda 
This is an agenda. You sound stupid. Canelo Alvarez was a free agent. He had been working, even though he's it's not promoters working together. It's Canelo's team shifting from DAZN, where he's done most of his last 12 fights or so. And now he's working with Al Heyman. So this is definitely a hit piece against PBC. And it's to get you to refocus and I guess become a negative Nancy and a toxic boxing fan and gripe when we're getting such a great year. It's like what Tupac said at the MTV Movie Awards. It's like the Judas did to Jesus. They're only here to cause distractions. That's what ESPN Boxing is. It's only here to cause distractions. Your purses are skewed at the top. Guess what? There was some issue with Crawford and Errol Spence last year negotiating, and Crawford ended up fighting David Avenesian. Errol sat on the shelf since Ugas, but we're over those humps. Crawford keeps telling you in his recent interviews, he's like, it doesn't matter how we got here. Guess what? We're here now. So ESPN looks so stupid. I don't even know who's approving these articles. Why would you approve this? And you have PBC who's putting even this. This is a good fight, right? And this is in September. Joe Joyce just lost and he's fighting Zilly Zhang. So anyway, I just wanted to make a video about it because I find this remarkably funny that PBC is having a banner year. They're putting on Jerron Boots Ennis versus Villa, who just beat Rashidi Ellis. They're putting on or allowing Cool Boy Fulton to go to Japan to put on a fight on top rank. You know, they're having Crawford and Spence. We got David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant, which was a fight that needed to happen for many years. You got Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, as I mentioned. Wilder and Ruiz, they're trying to sort their stuff out. And you got ESPN talking about <laughs> how do we fix boxing and complaining and for some reason trying to get boxing fans to redirect what should be positivity and focus on whatever. And the real the reality is that PBC is not having a hard time making their fights like they got Crawford and Spence. Somehow they got Canelo in a way. I mean, cool boy Fulton wanted to fight in a way that happened. Guess who is having problem? Eddie Hearn, Joshua and Dillian White. They've already fought. I don't even really want to see that fight, but there's issues with the rematch clause. Triple G, we don't know what he's doing. We don't even know if he's retired. Tyson Fury and Usyk. We Tyson Fury can't get his next fight, but majority of PBC fights outside of Wilder Ruiz, there's not really an issue. So very interesting timing. I think we know what it is. And ESPN, instead of giving credit, this is what old media does, people. Instead of giving credit where credit's due, they try to move the goalposts and get you to focus on, I guess, turmoil instead of just being happy as a boxer. I'm happy. I have no problem paying for Errol Spence and Crawford and watching Inoue and Fulton and, and these types of fights. These are all good fights. I'm really looking forward to Virgil Ortiz as well and Stanionis. And that's also an example of promoters working together. Stanionis is with, I think he's with Shelly Finkel. He's been fighting on PBC. That's not a Golden Boy fighter. Same thing with Derevchenko. Derevchenko wasn't a Golden Boy fighter, yet these fights happen. Why is ESPN complaining about this stuff and trying to get boxing fans to, I guess, riot or be mad at boxing when the sport is actually giving back? It's because everything that old media put to the forefront and said was great doesn't seem to be thriving right now and everything that they said was the quote cancer of boxing al Heyman and pbc and the weasels steven espinosa and all that stuff they are thriving these same people who are now complaining about boxing and when can we get the big fights and stupid articles like this these are the same people that said pbc would be out of business and you know it's just clearly a hit piece this just looks goofy Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm the best in the business and I'm out.